In today's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about fitness on a budget. I'm wearing my cute top today and flips hair. Um, I thought it would be kind of cute. I'm wearing my hot pink shorts because it's nice and hot today, so it matches the day. And yeah, I'm planning on maybe opening up another channel, which will be my fashion channel, or I'm gonna change to this channel and make it all about like what, what I'm into, like just about my life. So I'm kind of in between decisions right now. <laughs> I got a choice to make. Um, Cause if you know me from my Instagram or you would know, my goal is to get eventually into modeling and into fashion because before fitness, I was actually a huge fashion, I still am a huge fashion girl, but I was extremely into fashion. Like I went, to, I was the girl in middle elementary school that went to school with like three inch heels. Okay, that was me. I still am that way. Anyways, so we'll see what I do about that. But in today's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about another one of my favorite things, which is talking about finance and money and fitness. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to this page and uh, like the video if this found you well. If you enjoy it for more videos like this, help this puts a smile on your face and bring some joy to you and hopefully bring some value to you. I need to do more tricep extensions. Okay, so um, let me backtrack and explain to you why I wanted to make this video. Um, one of the reasons is because, you know, if you are someone like me where you're, you know, you're kind of passionate about money and finance and being smart with your decisions and your career or your money, um, you know, fitness oftentimes comes last for a lot of people. Like this is something that you should definitely prioritize in your life. Um, you don't, you don't have to, you don't necessarily have to, you know, take it too extreme. You know, like somebody like me, you know, I have certain goals and ambitions and, you know, a certain look that I prefer that I go after. Um, but, you know, if you're not into it as much as say, what have you like me or whatever, then you know, you can always find a way to make your, your workouts fun, whether that means your workouts are, you know, running, you're a triathlon person, or you're into, you know, just general health, you're a dad or your mom, or um, or you're, maybe you're really into competing like myself. So regardless of your decision, I think it's really important to um, budget for your, for your fitness and budget for your, uh, for your goals. Um, and first of all, let me backtrack and kind of explain why should you even listen to me? Do I even know what I'm talking about? Well, um, it'd be a little silly for somebody to make a video if they themselves don't practice it. So, um, I, you know, yes, I do practice it and, um, I think I'm qualified enough to make this video and talk a little bit about it. So when I first got started, I went to Planet Fitness and it's only $10 a month. Um, if you're on the East coast of the U S. Uh, there's a gym called Planet Fitness. It's ten dollars a month. I think now it's like twelve dollars a month because of inflation, and <laughs> it's a great option. One of the reasons I like it a lot is because it has all the machines that you need. It has all the cardio that you need. Um, it's open twenty four hours, so there's really no excuse for you not to do your training. Um, the only downfall is that they don't have barbells. So if you want to, you know, do heavy squats, heavy deadlifts, it's not the gym to go to. Um, that's when you want to go into something like maybe a Gold's Gym or a here on the East Coast and in the Midwest there's a gym called One Life Fitness or you can go to a more niche gym or maybe like a recreational gym like YMCA or what have you. Uh, let's say you don't want to necessarily go to the gym or maybe you can't afford to uh, afford a gym membership. What should you do? Uh, because I can definitely understand, you know, a gym is not, it's not necessary. And a gym is definitely um, not the end all be all. So, you know, if you're trying to cut out things that aren't, aren't um, you know, serving you and you have other priorities in life, then it's really important to prioritize the things that are, are gonna get you ahead in life versus trying to put all your money into fitness that's not gonna really get you anywhere financially. Um, I always try to look at and think of things in terms of return on, return on investment. So, you know, what's your return on your investment if you go to the gym and you actually put in the time and the effort? Well, your return on investment is a nice result in your physique and in your health and in your mental, you know, state of mind. Um, 
But of course, maybe you have other serious responsibilities. So let's say you don't want to pay for a gym membership. What do you do? You can do it at home, you know, gym. You can just build it at home gym. Okay, so I have um, my, my purple band, which is from Rogue Fitness. Um, this is about a hundred pounds worth. And then I have my orange band. I'm gonna hold it up like this to show you the size difference. So the uh, orange is obviously much smaller, much thinner, or you know, less less thick. Um, but you know, you can do different things. You can do like if I step on the band, I can do like lateral raises. Um, I can do shoulder press. I can do. Um, bicep curls. So there's just a lot of things that you can do with the bands. The only downfall with the bands is that you will need, the only downfall with the bands is that you're going to need to um, kind of hold it down to a, uh, like a, like something stable to keep it down. So that's one of the downfalls of bands that I'm not really a huge fan of. And you can get for your at home gym um, is a kettlebell. So this is a kettlebell. This is 26 pounds. That's from Rogue Fitness. Um, they sell all kinds of, I can do bicep curls right now. Let me do some bicep curls for you. Okay, all right. I'm, uh, I don't know why I just did that, but kettlebells, um, you can get, you know, a heavier one. I, this is the only one I have because I don't really need it because I have other stuff. But if you don't want to get a barbell, then you can get a kettlebell to help you do squats, you can do squats, you can do deadlifts, you can do pullovers, you can do um, a bench press with the kettlebell. Um, there's a ton of things that you can do with the kettlebell. Um, and you can actually just go to a thrift store or like a garage sale. So that's basically what I did is I just got a bunch of things from a garage sale. Um, you know, I drove to Virginia, like the mid part of Virginia. Virginia is a huge state. And I got all of my plates from a guy that was selling them because he was moving. And I, you know, I capitalized off of that opportunity and, you know, I bought it all back. So, you know, I think it's really important to be smart with your decisions when it comes to fitness and fitness equipment. Um, because again, you're not really trying to see, you're not going to get a return on your money when you get this equipment. So in my opinion, it's not wise to spend a ton of cash on gym equipment when it's just going to get old and rusty and dirty so quickly but everybody's different there's some people that will spend a ton of money on gym equipment for themselves and they're not even opening up a gym which in my opinion again is a poor financial decision but that's what i would do i would get a kettlebell some bands just do an at-home workout um, and do that as for as long as you necessarily can or for as long as you can necessarily get by to do until you start seeing you know progress in your physique what if I put my hat like this? Was this cool? <laughs> the last tip or kind of topic that I want to touch up really quickly is choosing gyms. So depending on where you are in the world and primarily where you are in the US, I try to get gyms, get, get into gyms that have a sauna. Uh, I think that the sauna, is, I've, it's amazing. I mean, the, having a dry sauna, it makes a huge difference in your recovery abilities. So, um, so look at those things. If they have a sauna, if they're if they're clean, if they are um, have the good people around, like if they the people are actually cleaning up after themselves. One of my pet peeves is if I have to pay for a gym and I see people don't clean up after themselves. I think it's really disrespectful to the people that you're around. So that's a, another kind of side thing. Um, another thing to look at is whether or not they're going to be prompt with canceling your membership. So certain gyms are not. Uh, considerate of maybe your financial state and they may linger and try to take as much money out of you uh, and so you want to be mindful of that so obviously looking at reviews and making sure that they're on top of their stuff to in the case that if you need to cancel that they can cancel immediately the video is that you don't necessarily have to go to the to the gym I'm a strong believer that you can get a workout anywhere anytime you can use couches you can use gallons of milk you can use a jug of water you can use um, you know chairs in your kitchen you can use you know really anything that's holding weight to challenge you and just do that as long as you can until you can afford to go to a gym so that was, those are my tips on a little bit about money financing budgeting um, you know the way I look at it also kind of a back 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 step a little bit is uh, if your gym membership is $40 a month you want to carve out $10 every paycheck 
So if you get paid weekly, you want to carve out $10 every week to go to your gym membership. So you have a certain budget. Every paycheck, you deduct $10 from your paycheck automatically, uh, and that will go straight to your gym membership. Anything that's over, you know, like $30, $40, in my opinion, for a gym membership, unless it's a specialty gym, and you don't necessarily need the equipment, I would say stay away from, because uh, you don't need half the things that they, these gyms and these health clubs sell you and they're really just taking your money uh, if you're not using everything in the gym i would say don't don't go to the gym um, try to find a gym where you can you just go for what you need and if it's relatively close to your home so you're not spending a ton of gas um, that's another thing don't spend like if the gym is like more than five miles away from you i would suggest you rethink your gym membership because it's really not worth it and you're, they're just really eating away your money and of course, last but not least, is if you haven't gone to the gym in the past one month or even two weeks or three weeks, then you'd really need to reassess your decisions and reconsider whether or not you're going to invest this time and money into your health and your fitness or really just your physique. Uh, and if you're not going for the past two weeks or two to four weeks, then it's time to cancel and you know maybe do an at-home workout until you build that discipline to then go to a public place and pay um, you know on a consistent basis. So those are my tips, money fitness, budgeting for your life. I hope that, that was useful, found you well. I hope you liked my shirt because I purposely did it for this video. And of course I had to show off my amazing, my amazing physique. Okay, thank you for watching this channel, for this video. Uh, subscribe and be on the lookout for, if I open up another channel, we'll see. But I'll see you in the next video.